Oh no, I hurt my back again. I can hardly move. Sounds familiar. Here are three exercises to relieve your back pain. And it won't take that much time out of your daily routine. Back pain is a common complaint many people have. It doesn't mean you have to live with it for the rest of your life. Exercise is often the best solution and the best prevention. Here are exercises that will help you. Get ready, set, go. All right, today's rehab session is for all of you out there in the world who are now sitting at home because of this time of crisis and I've got some stretches for you to do to either stop your back being sore or if you've got a sore lower back this is for you to help it get it looser and get it less painful because if you're one of those people who are sitting at home either working at home or you're in home isolation or you're not exercising at the same time because you're out of your routine then this one's for you now I've got three exercises for your lower back one for your glutes and one for your hips because you need the hips and the glutes to help your lower back so there's five in total let's get stuck in the first one is the gold standard for lower backs now this is think of the opposite of sitting if you're sitting heaps this is like the reverse the complete opposite and it's to try and pull out all the stiffness and tightness that's going on in your lower back from all the sitting that you're doing or even just the inactivity that you're doing now this is not just for now this is a lifetime one so what I would do for you is just get out of your chair for one. Get on the floor. I probably wouldn't do this in your bed or the sofa. Get on the floor. Now this one's called McKean's Extension because it's named after an amazing New Zealander, of course, uh, called Robin McKenzie. Now this one here is to reverse the sitting flexed position. So if you notice what I'm doing, hands directly under shoulders now when I push up of course my pelvis is going to come off a little bit but I'm trying to keep the front of my pelvic rim bones on the ground okay so your pubic bone if you like I don't mean the front bony parts here the middle part so that's what you're trying to keep on the ground so it's not it's not like a yoga one where you're coming way off you're actually trying to keep it down so you actually stretch through the lower back now some of you won't be able to get up that far. I've got a pretty mobile lower back. So some of you may find you can only get to there because you're so stiff. Well, you've got to start somewhere. But what I would aim for is when you push up, you just go to the stiffness and don't try and hammer through it. Just go to the stiffness and then come down. And you're after about two seconds at the stiffness for the stretch and come down. It's not a sustained one. I don't want you sitting there and just holding it there for minutes, okay? You do two seconds up, two seconds down. You might wait for two seconds and then go again. And the crucial thing is you're trying to make sure when you do it, relax your lower back, relax your glutes. Don't let them fire up. So you've got to practice this a little bit so it's a complete passive stretch when you come upwards. And when you do push upwards to try and stop those muscles firing up, you've got to try and think about if I can push the ground away from me and then hold myself with my hands and then relax, then I'll get that deep stretch. Be mindful of any pain and then drop down. Now people say, well how many? Listen, I advise set of 10. So two seconds up, two seconds down, 10 times. That's one set. Three sets twice a day, okay? Minimum, if you've got back pain, a lot of stiffness, or you've just been sitting far too much. Then you can probably bring it down to once a day and then once every few days. But that's a really, really good one because like I said, it's the opposite of that position. So there's my C-shaped curve. That's the bad position you want. That if you're in, in a sitting position, you want to be avoiding that position. But to reverse it, do that one. Okay, McKenzie extension, that is gold. I can't recommend it highly enough. Now, so that's your first one I want you to do. Second one, it's the old footy stretch. Now this one seems, you think, oh, this is pretty easy. But with this one, your lower back's gonna thank you. What I want you to do is have one arm 
completely out like that. Okay? Some people can't get it backwards. Some people might have to have it straight. But as long as your arm is out, what you're trying to do is keep that shoulder down. So when I go into rotation, because this is a rotation stretch, one side at a time, grab that leg, take it over. Now, some people are really tight, go, oh, it's as far as I can go, and I can feel it in my glute, and that's fine. You may not feel it in your lower back, so don't get put off by just going there and going, oh, nothing's happening, okay? Something is happening. You've just got to hold it there for long enough. So this is holding down here. You might get a bit of a pec stretch here. This one's taken over. Again, only go to the pain. So don't go into pain and try and force it and smash it over there. Some people might just go for a bit of a click. They go there and go, oh yeah, and they click it, and oh, that's better. That's not enough, okay? The clicks are fine. But when you take it over, take it over, get there to the point where you feel like, I can't really go any further. It's a comfortable enough stretch from maybe my glute through to my back, and you hold it there. Now, how long for? This one's a tricky one. You need to go one to two minutes. Now, it's boring, but, and it's long, but it's worth it. And I would try and do that stretch for one to two minutes. So maybe one minute if you're a bit of a beginner. Two minutes, as you've done this before, to get enough sort of creep and stretch through the tissues that it frees it up and gets your rotation a little bit better. And that rotation helps you with the flexion, helps you with the extension, okay? So it frees you up in all those directions. So that one has to be followed up. You've got to do the McKenzie one, you've got to do the rotation one. Now, you don't have to do all these in order. I'm just giving them orders for today, but you can mix it up a little bit. You can do one set of each and throw it around. I don't really mind, but see if you can get both sides done for one to two minutes, three times both sides. So that's a lot, right? Maybe sort of six to eight to 10 minutes of stretching, okay? But give it a shot. I'm sure you'll find it'd be really helpful. Now, once you've done those two, okay, and if you're that sort of person who's got really tight QL muscles in here, extensors are just really rock hard, you put your finger in there, you go, oh, it's really tight, you may find you need a little bit more. And this is where the third stretch comes in. So this is your QL stretch. Now, your QL stretch, this is, listen, you can do QL stretches you know, all over the internet. They're, they're done in different ways. This is what I like. I think it really works. So if you were going to do the left-hand side, now I've done a lot of videos on this before, but I'm going to show you again. If you're going to do the left-hand side, you put your right leg out. So left-hand side, right leg out. You try and grab that. Now some people who are super, super loose in their hamstrings and like that will be able to straighten that and grab that and they feel nothing, okay? Most of you who are tight won't be able to do that. Bend the knee. And that does take off the sciatic tension problem going on in there. Then you try and reach forward. Now, some really stiff people won't even be able to get there. But if you're one of those persons who can get to that point there, you may find that's a big enough stretch already. Then you try and keep that knee down. If this knee is coming up like this, you try and push that down, which will open you up through the hip, which is also really good. Keep that there. And then try and rotate your upper body around. So if it's your left hand side you're stretching, you're, you're rotating your left shoulder back to there. Then from there, with this right leg, just take it out a little bit and then you're going to try and use your right arm to pull yourself down, right down, so your chest or your rib cage comes closer and closer and closer to that thigh. Now you're going to start feeling that stretch all the way through. You might feel it through some of your obliques, through your lats, down through your extensors and into that QL. And that's where you've got to try and stretch. Push it there, push it back, tilt over, and guess what? Again, this is a hold. So one to two minutes in this position, both sides two to three times. Okay, it's a lot of stretching going on. But you know what? If you're at home, and you're self-isolating, you're probably watching some TV, instead of sitting in that sofa in that bad position, get on the floor and watch TV doing this, okay? This is one, that's a, it takes a long time, so you might have something to distract you. It's a perfect time to stretch, okay? If you're watching TV, perfect time to stretch. And just get stuck into that. Now that's really going to open you up. Now the only caution with that is if you've got a current, really acute, lumbar disc bulge or herniation problem that you're battling with, 
that might be too advanced for you. But if you've got a normal back problem, as in it's just stiff, it's a bit tight, okay, it's getting a bit sore, give that a shot as long as you're doing the extensions and the rotations. So there's your three lower back. If you liked this video, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell below to be notified about our next topic. We have more videos coming up shortly. We will be covering a variety of topics in these videos. Also, don't forget to click on the link below to get our free ebook. See you in the next video.